Seems like it's been a good run for the birds. Now, we've got three batelier or short-tailed eagles on this tree. Um, and it's quite unusual to, to see three of them. Now, bateliers are the type of eagle that they form monogamous pairs, so they will not, they will choose a partner and they will stay with that partner until that partner um, dies and then they will find a new one. But now we've got three of them. And normally eagles are territorial and they don't particularly allow any other eagles to come close to them. So my guess is that one of these eagles is actually one of their youngsters or one of their previous um, offspring. Is they, they wouldn't allow another eagle that they're not related to just to sit around in this area and hang out with them. So they've... Excuse us, wipe the lens. Oh, sorry. Fergie's just going to help us see clearly. So he's going to wipe the lens quickly. There we go. Now we can see a lot better. It's almost like waking up and wiping our eyes. Oh, look at that. They're grooming each other. Oh, this is great. Oh, somebody didn't like it. Oh, this is a this is a very special moment that we're looking at. We don't get to see we see them often flying around and not too far from each other, but you see the both of them grooming. This is this is something very, very special. And of course, it serves the same purpose as when lions and leopards groom each other, just maintaining good social relationships, getting rid of that bit of extra parasites around, just just keeping good relationship all together. But this is wonderful. You don't get to see this all too often. Oh, somebody's got a knotty feather there. So yeah, I know it looks quite tough, but I'm sure that they're not hurt and he's not or the one that's doing it. I can't see if it's the male or the female, but they're just helping each other and uh, it's not in any way hurtful. Catherine, you say this is gorgeous. I agree with you. It's a very special sighting. It's not definitely not something we get to see every day. Oh. And there was a rogue feather that was not where it was supposed to be. So it seems like it pulled it out. Seems like the one that's doing all the grooming, just judging by the lack of a white underwing, seems to be the male to me. And I can't really see if the one behind the trees has is, has got the white, which would indicate that it's a female. R. Lara Moore, you say this is very sweet, I agree. It, it, it gives a bit of a different insight to the life of these predators, doesn't it? Even these birds of prey, we tend to think of them as such strong and powerful creatures. But just to see what happens sometimes beyond, uh, behind the scenes type of thing, or how they maintain social relationships, and just to see the, their vulnerable side, let's put it that way, I think it is quite incredible. Now the grooming the other way. So this helps also maintain all the feather conditions, just making sure that all the feathers that are, let's say, starting to, to get damaged, that they get pulled out and hopefully replaced by the new ones. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I don't think I've ever seen battleers groom each other before, so this is, this is the first sighting for me and I'm quite excited about it. just look how many feathers they got you can see just how deep the beak has to go into the into the skin to be able to get there Temba you say you're wondering what they're whispering about I don't know I think maybe it's a bit of a private conversation between very close family members Beautiful. We're going to stay around with them for a little bit longer, see what the third one decides to go. But while we do that, let's go over to Tristan, who's going to give us one last look of the lions. Why, oh, where are the lions going?